Uh, it's a very tough physical game, like each and every year. Um, they're a great team, and it was a hard battle. So, so how do you how do you kind of come back to that and get up to speed for another big game? Uh, we just put that game behind us. It was a great win, um, but you know, 24 hour rule around here. You know, that was a great win for the team and for each other of us. But we just look, look forward to the next game. What are your friends and family saying about about that catch at the end? Um, of course, they are proud of me. And, um, they are happy for me, but I just told them uh, that's how part of our offense. You know, I didn't do anything spectacular that uh, anybody else would have done. You're, you're a player. You tend to show a lot of emotion on the field. But you kind of let loose after that one. How much did that personally mean to you? Uh, that meant a lot to me because it was against the world. You know, everybody thought, everybody thought we were going to lose after the 50 seconds, you know. But um, after that, um, we showed everybody that we didn't quit. And, we could face adversity, so um, that meant a lot to me and my teammates. What was what was Blake's like on that last drive to tie the game? Uh, Blake, uh, cool, calm, collected, man. Um, Blake showed his poise out there, and I uh, heard a part of him for that. You know, Saban said the team's got to bounce back mentally. What, what do you think everyone is in terms of their mindset? Um, of course, it was a hard-fought game, you know, hard, tough, good physical game. So um, um, everybody, everybody, you know, saw it from that game. So. I say it's, you got bounced back mentally from, you know, our body being sore and you know, if you don't want to practice and stuff like that. We got to have a great week of practice and great preparation for this game. So. Blake, sorry, Blake said the plane, on the plane, everyone was almost knocked out physically. Was, how physically exhausted were you guys after that? Oh, man. Um, each and every year, it's a physical game, you know, and um, it's a great team. So after, on the plane, everybody was tired, everybody was sore, you know, um, but, you know, that comes with the game. Speaking of sore, how's the foot? Uh, my, my foot's fine, man. Um, it's getting better and better each week. Um, even after that tough game, even that physical game, it's still fine. What happened? What do you think of Ruben's hit? Uh, Ruben, um, I'm not surprised. You know, Ruben is a great player, man, hard hitter, man. So I wasn't really surprised when he did that. What happens in a game where you struggle, struggle, struggle on offense, and then you've got 50 mm -hmm. seconds left and you can go down the field? What, um, what does the defense do different that lets you do that? If anything. Uh, I don't believe they did anything different. I mean, we just came together and said that, you know, we had to make the drive this our season. And um, we have great leaders on the offense to, to help us pick, it up, pick that up. So um, I don't think there's anything different. As one of the leaders, how do you sort of get everybody to rally and, and practice hard to see? Um, you know, the leadership role on this team uh, is very good, you know. So we have people listening to the leaders and the leaders listening to other people. So that won't be pretty hard. What's a team like in terms of dealing with the kickers? Do you talk much to kickers or the kind of thing where they kind of, they're in their own zone and don't want to mess with their heads? Um, no, nah, they're not real. It's like they are teammates still, you know, so we still talk to them and you know, have fun and joke with them and everything like that. It's just another position on the football field. Did you watch that game time kick at the end or did you have to look away? I watched it. I had all faith in Griff, you know, Griff, a great kicker. Um, he don't disappoint very much, so I had all the faith in Griff. What, what do you think about, I mean, do you, do you talk to TJ? Do you, do you sit and you talk to CJ since that game and kind of his mindset? Because obviously you guys need him to have fun. Uh, yeah, um, TJ doing fine, you know. Uh, I don't know too much about his injury, but uh, he didn't let anything get him down. What is the challenge of bouncing back? After, you know, you've been around here long enough. Playing LSU is kind of an all-in deal. Coming right back and, and playing a really good team. What? You know, is it physical? Is it mental? What is the big challenge? Uh, I believe both physical and mental because, you know, it's physical on our body because they're a physical team, you know, and they played a great game. But it's also mental um, because everybody want to, maybe Nate want to sit around and say, oh, I'm hurt this, I'm hurt that, and I practice. But we need a great uh, week of practice to win. Is this practically, do you all kind of look at this as a playoff game? Um, we just look at each game that is, uh, we need to win, you know. Um, we look at every every opponent and don't and it, it's made anybody. So did yeah. y'all experience some big games? Does that help? Does it kind of keep you level headed? Yeah, um, big games. Uh, we we pretty used to it around here, but it's a, it's a great confidence of what we did and what we're going to do. When you have a last one, the drop pass obviously can be just you missed it, but how much of it can be just the timing's off? Um, yeah, I drop a pass. You know, just on to the next man. You can't really look 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 back on that and and dwell on it, you know, it just, um, it happens for football sometimes, you know. Uh, I try not to make it happen too much, but, you know, you can't control that sometimes.